Hello there. I had a request from one of my YouTube friends, Ray of Ray Productions, wanted me to make a video on how to read schematics. Also he wanted me to make a video on radio theory and so forth. We can do that uh, probably, but we're not going to probably do that on this video. We're going to do the basics of how to read a schematic. What I want to uh, touch base on is uh, the symbols and so forth and how they are drawn pertaining to uh, radio schematics. So um, there are a lot of versions of the symbols and some of the real old-time schematics are drawn somewhat different than the ones that are newer schematics. So we'll try to cover bases on all of that. So for you Ray and anyone else out there who would like to know how to read schematics, we'll give it a try. Thank you. First of all we'll start with the symbols. This represents an amp meter symbol. This represents an antenna, a balanced system. This is another way, and probably the most familiar way, of drawing an antenna symbol. Another general antenna symbol. So as you can see there are numerous ways of drawing and representation of these items. This is representation of an antenna loop shielded. This is a representation of a loop unshielded which is probably the most familiar to you. It represents a directly heated cathode such as the types found in your 5Y3s, your 5U4 tubes, tubes such as that. Those are directly heated cathode. Also your 80 rectifier tubes would be the same way and many others. A indirectly heated cathode and it would have the heated the cathode here uh, the heating element rather the filament and then the cathode over here and this represents the cathode by itself so you'll see symbols such as that that's your that represents the cathode of a vacuum tube it represents one cell in other words uh, a, a, a battery like a flashlight battery it'd be one cell to represent two or three of these, you just put those in series, and the symbols would represent that, as I showed you in earlier in this video here. It represents a circuit breaker, could also represent a reset button on the back of a, one of the old vacuum tube televisions. It represents a coaxial cable. It represents a crystal such as the piezoelectric. Symbol for your diode or rectifier represents a light emitting diode or LED. This represents a fuse. Represents ground or chassis ground. It also can be drawn like this here and you may see this in a lot of your older radio schematics. In to the one above here, the one below is drawn the same way and this represents earth ground. So I commonly use this particular symbol all the time and everything and I very rarely use that type of uh, symbol when I draw schematics. It represents an air inductor, in other words no core. This one would represent an inductor with a core such as a filter choke. This here is a potentiometer like a volume control would be considered a potentiometer. Here is a symbol for vacuum tube rectifier tube. The plate being on the right and the cathode being on the left. No filament is shown. It's not really necessary unless you're drawing the entire schematic of the radio. For a resistor, for a resistor or rheostat. Rheostat is just a simply a heavy duty resistor. Also can be drawn this way line like this represents shielding. This is a symbol for a signal generator. There's an air core transformer. In other words, there is no core between the windings. 
Here is a uh, transformer with an iron core. Here is a transformer with a tapped primary. Here is a transformer with a tapped secondary. Schematic drawing, when you see lines crossing like this and there's a black dot, that means they are connected. When the lines do not intersect, they loop over. So these two wires do not connect. These two wires do not connect. It may look like it, but there's no dot there. So the symbol can be drawn this way or this way. I prefer this way. When I draw a schematic, I'll always make that loop to positively identify the fact that these two wires do not connect. There's another way of drawing electrolytics right down here. That when you see a symbol like that, that means an electrolytic, a filter capacitors. You've seen them quite common in radios like that. A wave rectifier coming through, as I showed you in another schematic, is your filter choke right here, or speak a field, but that acts as a filter choke. This here is a full wave bridge rectifier. Now as you can see on this schematic, you see how they're connected with a dot here? That's the way I like to draw my schematics. That means that the wires do connect. Here you see where it's looped over. That's also the way I like to draw my schematics. So that it shows that there is no connection between these two wires. Well, I think I've covered quite a bit how to read schematics and the symbols and so forth. I hope this is some help to a lot of you. And maybe in the future, we'll see if we can get into some radio theory. The problem I have now is all my reference material is not at the house here. It's all in storage. So a lot of it I have to refer to from the one book I do have here, and it's quite hard to uh, photograph from it. Thank you for watching. You have a very good day.